Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today uh, we're gonna have another installment in my Yale student interview series. Today I don't have one of my sweet mates necessarily, but one of my very close friends here at Yale. This is Jacob, uh, he lives across the hall. Today he's going to talk about his experience uh, throughout the college application process and what he thinks of Yale so far. So uh, Jacob, you want to introduce yourself? Hi guys, what's up? I'm Jacob, as Josh already said. I'm from Mesa, Arizona and I'm super pumped to be in one of Josh's videos. Big fan? Big fan. Huge, Huge fan. fan. Huge fan. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jacob actually lives right across the hall. You know what? They haven't really seen the, the room set up yet. You, you want to just go show them? Sure, let's go check it out. Okay. So, um, All right, so uh, we just go out my room, take a left, and then right across the hall here, he's just down the well to get downstairs. And we're going to the suite across the hall. Welcome. Oh, let me clean this up. Jacob! So, uh, this is your suite? This is my suite. Uh, your roommate's already gone for Christmas break, yeah, right? Ethan? Yeah, he's gone. I got living the single life right now. Oh, that's good stuff. Single life? It sounds like I'm dating him. <laughs> single life as in I'm not in a double right now. Yeah, so, uh... Jake and I have bunk beds, but Jacob actually got a pretty good suite here. He uh, he has single beds. It's a lot of space. It's quite nice. A, a lot of space. A lot of fans going right now. <laughs> and we're back. Good. All right, Jacob. So uh, you went to high school in Arizona. I did. Uh, give us a little rundown of like your high school experience. You know. Um, what extracurriculars you did and just like overall like how did high school prepare you for life at Yale? Alright well I went to a pretty big public high school we had about 4,000 kids there let's see so in high school I was part of uh, my high school's marching band I was a part of our biotechnology club biotechnology? Um, what did you biotechnology. do there? Um, we worked in a lab so like our school lab we did cloning plants all cloning all plants? cloning plants yeah so that's pretty cool stuff. That's we didn't stuff. have that at our school <laughs> That, that sounds pretty cool. That's pretty fun. Okay, anything else? Um, I took a lot of AP classes, didn't have Lots a lot of time of for much class. else. Really? Yeah. So obviously the stuff you did in high school played a major part in your application, but uh, in general, why do you think you got into Yale? Like, did you have like one special thing that kind of distinguished you, or do you think it was more like a combination of things? Um, well, I think what Yale's really looking for is somebody who is well-rounded. They want people who aren't just focused on one thing, but many. I feel like my high school career really emphasize that. Okay, cool. Not to mention the test scores. The test scores matter. Test scores? Test, test scores, scores do matter. matter. So do essays. Essays play essays, a pretty big... Essays are pretty important. Yeah. They're not looking for you to just, I don't know, be the best. They want you to have personality too. Personality. So what other schools were you considering and what made you choose Yale? Well, I applied through uh, the Questbridge National College Match Program. So how exactly does the uh, Questbridge program work? Questbridge is a scholarship program that lets you rank up to 12 colleges from the list of partner schools and you rank them in order of preference and you have to end up submitting applications to all of those schools that you would choose to apply for and once you do, they'll, whichever schools accept you, they'll match you with your top one from your list. But what I did, I applied to Yale, Stanford, and Columbia in that order and usually they're not, the other schools aren't supposed to tell you if you get in but Stanford ended up telling me that I also got in so. Yeah, yeah I was a I'm not gonna lie, a little salty when I found out Jacob got into Stanford and Yale. He still is. He still is. St still just, just, a, just a little salty. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Alright, so do you have any advice for those that are in their like, early years of high school, like freshman, sophomore, or maybe, uh, maybe in middle school, they're about to start high school? Um, a lot of people have regrets in the early years of high school, especially when it comes to college applications and stuff. Do you have any advice for those that are just starting high school to kind of get a jump start and start prepping for their college applications as early as possible? Well, I can tell you that all the big schools up here, they're definitely looking for you to take advanced classes. So if your school offers AP classes, you should definitely start taking those. If they offer honors, take those. If they offer IB, definitely get into those programs because they give you a leg up on everybody else. You also want to make sure that you're looking into extracurriculars. You want to find one or two things that will really define your high school career to give you some personality and stand out amongst other applicants. Yeah, definitely start early with extracurriculars because... Um, what colleges are really looking for is like leadership positions. I mean, colleges love leadership in general, 
And you're going to have a lot harder time getting those leadership positions if you kind of join your club like the, your junior or senior year. So uh, I'd really recommend trying to find some clubs that you're interested in and start your freshman or sophomore year so you can kind of gain experience and membership in the club. And then you'll hopefully be elected to a position your junior or senior year. You also want to make sure that you're not just applying to a bunch of clubs. You want to be in just a couple that really, and you're really committed to them rather than being into like a hundred, but you just are. Yeah, I know, I know I personally was in a lot of clubs, but um, Shame. you'll, you'll find that even if you try to join a lot of clubs, first of all, colleges don't really care if you're in like eight different clubs, like it's pretty much meaningless for them. What I found, at least personally in my application, was that there were like three or four clubs that I, like, I really enjoyed and that were really personal to me. Like, I, for example, like my, my rocketry team in high school, um, that, was, that was a big time commitment for me. And I actually I ended up writing one of my engineering essays about it. That was a really big extracurricular for me, as well as, you know, like baseball and orchestra and all those that I, I started like early in my freshman year. Big rocket science guy, huh? Big pretty big rocket science guy. You know, I'm, I'm continuing here. Mm -hmm. Now now we're working on satellites. What? So that's some good advice for people that are just starting high school. Well, but what about those, you know, juniors or seniors this year that are have already either like started applying to colleges this year? You know, the uh, the regular decision uh, deadline for at least for the Common App is coming up what, like December 31st? Yeah, January 1st for some colleges, yeah. Yeah, so uh, any advice for those seniors that are currently in the process of applying or those juniors that are beginning to, you know, kind of develop their list of schools? What advice do you have for those people? Well, for the juniors, I'd say you need to start applying early. That was one of my biggest mistakes, as most people would say, I'm sure. Yeah. You need to start applying for all those schools, scholarships, write your essays early, start in, like, August, I'd say, and then you won't be so stressed come November when everybody else is stressed. Yeah, uh, I think I, I think I had a video about like when exactly you should start your college applications, but to sum it up, um, I'd really think that you should knock your Common App essay out in the month of August, when you're just chilling during summer break, and then you know gradually start working through the supplemental essays. But you definitely want to get the Common App essay out of the way first, and don't discount like the the little short answer questions and all the other things on the applications. Those sometimes can be almost like just as important as the actual essays themselves because they reveal some uh, unique parts about you. And also, one more piece of advice from me, um, your junior year is going to be your most important year when you're applying to college. Your junior year is when you're gonna wanna load up with uh, all your difficult classes. I know I took like six AP classes my junior year. Ooh. It was it was pretty rough, um, but it, it shows colleges that you're dedicated and your junior year is kind of the heart of your application when you're applying. That being said, don't let up in your senior year though. Make sure you're still taking those AP classes. Definitely. It still looks good. Definitely. They want to make sure that colleges want to make sure that you're not just skipping out your senior year. Yeah, for those of you that uh, that managed to get accepted to a college early or found out about it already, don't slack off at the end of your senior year they either. Still, they still have the choice to let you go. So be careful. Uh, make sure you keep your grades up for second semester because I have heard stories of people getting their acceptances rescinded, and uh, you don't want that to be you. Yeah. All right, so obviously Jacob did get accepted to Yale. Really? Because you're here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, and everyone I've talked to kind of has their own unique story about when they found out that they got accepted, you know. So uh, what's your story? Well, um, I just came out of lunch. I was going into my academic decathlon class. Went to sit down, opened my computer, and found out I had an email. So I looked at the email from Yale and found out I got accepted. And just sitting in class. Not did, very exciting. Did you, like... Did I cry? Tell anyone else? I didn't cry. Did you tell anyone else sitting around you? I did. Did the I whole did. class freak out? There were like two people in there, but yeah, they freaked out. Oh. Yeah. That's not very... It's not very exciting. Not a very exciting story. <laughs> no. Okay, I've heard some better ones, Jake. You're gonna have to work on that, <laughs> uh, okay? I will. I'm excited. <laughs>